Is the world's biggest stamina run realistic or impossible? Let's break it down. What's up, Domino community, and welcome back to another Domino analysis where I, a professional Domino artist, react to a viral Domino video and we get to determine if it is real or fake. In this episode, I will be reacting to the world's biggest Domino run. Do it. And with a title like this, I have very high expectations. Now, this video is from a channel called Corridor who specializes in VFX, so this is animated. However, we're gonna break it down and see if it could actually be realistic. Before we get started, leave a comment down below. Is this video realistic or is it impossible? I would love to hear what you think, and at the end of the video, we will reveal the answer. So let's watch this video. We are moments away from the world's biggest domino We're gonna run. Gonna do it, dude! Yes! This is my life's greatest achievement. There are three million dominoes stretched across the city. Three million dominoes, okay. First of all, do we all know what three million dominoes is? The world record is four and a half million dominoes and that was an insane amount of space. But the fact that these dominoes are like larger than a normal domino, like these dominoes are what, 15 feet tall? <laughs> like depending on the distance that those are set up, that could be like crossing multiple states. Wait, isn't right. this super dangerous? What if it accidentally falls down. over and hits the tower when we're not ready? No, that's not gonna happen. You see, I placed an explosive right in the middle of the giant domino in case it falls down the wrong direction. Ah, he, he placed an explosive in the domino in case it knocks down the opposite direction. That's really smart. So if the domino falls by accident, he can just like hit the button and then there'll be a gap and it won't knock down like the big tower. That's really smart. Oh, I love the domino necklace here. I didn't even notice that earlier. That's a really nice touch. Stop it. That's cool. Well, okay. since your tower's all set and you're all ready to go, let's reveal your giant gold domino. Oh, look at this. Okay, giant so this is gonna domino. fill it. That is super cool. That's like a golden ticket domino. Our safety gap, which connects the first half of our domino run to the second half. Without that in place, we only have half a world record. And half a world record is not a world record. Ooh. As soon as this first domino falls, all right, first thing that I see in this, these dominoes are built outside. <laughs> I can tell you it is insanely difficult to set up dominoes outside because the wind and just the surface you're building on is not going to be even, especially dominoes of that size. Like those are normal sized dominoes. And the fact that it's built on like tar is quite impressive. Like that's, that's not what, like, that really wouldn't stand in real life. The wind would totally knock it down, especially with those towers in the back. Yeah, you really, like, you can't build on a surface that has bumps. So building on the road is, like, probably not gonna actually work. And begins. Oh, the wind no, from it. The wind from the drone knocked it down. Okay, that's actually really funny because a lot of people have actually like said, oh, Lily, you should like start your domino project with a drone. Use a drone to film your setups. Well, in theory, that sounds like an awesome idea. The wind from it would knock it down. I don't know that a drone is the move. I feel like a camera crane would be better, but this is a precise example of why the drone would not work. Drone, drone, drone. Okay, oh, what? Oh, okay, no, stop. All right, so it seems like after this triangle, the lines are splitting into multiple paths. And you know, it looks pretty good for the most part, except some lines just aren't connected for some reason. Like this green line right here isn't connected to any of the gray dominoes. So of course it's gonna like stay standing, which it's a little confusing. I, I don't know why that is. What? Okay, no, stop the run, stop the run. Nope. He's like, stop the run, stop the run. Yeah, you didn't make any other safety gaps, so you can't really stop it. There's too many lines going at once. All right, the next thing is the domino lines are hitting the walls from the bottom. And typically speaking, that isn't really likely to fall in real life because there's too much weight on the wall holding it up that when you knock it down from the bottom, it's like pushed down so it doesn't move. Like, I don't think it's possible to really knock down a wall from the bottom unless you use a heavier domino. Oh, stop the run. Stop the run. I gotta say though, I love the pattern in this next section here with all the spirals and the colors and the multiple lines that have toppled. Like, it looks really nice, like visually. Well done. Ooh, I love the corridor digital the logo there that is really cool i also love how they even use like these gray dominoes here to blend in with the tar so they're like connecting dominoes that don't really get seen but they just connect the rest of the logo like that's really cool it looks like they're using the triangle technique which is like every other row 
the dominoes are offset by half a domino so it can split from one to two to three and kind of make like an overarching like diagonal effect but the spacing is like really wide it almost looks like some of these dominoes don't even have a domino before it that would have contact with the next domino but overall it looks really good where did they get those giant dominoes <laughs> Can you imagine if you were just like walking down the street and you saw these giant dominoes like this would be unreal and what's interesting is they changed the type of domino like these dominoes right here like on the on the road are much larger first like also thicker and they're rounded which means they were probably more difficult to set up theoretically it's interesting how they like stacked dominoes there if this were like actually built in real life that would probably fall over because of the wind i would worry that even one domino set up would knock over but when you stack three that makes it even more unstable oh the other thing is when you knock down like stacked dominoes usually the second one on top will fall backwards when these fall they fall like directly down without rotating it's like the first domino fell and then <laughs> the second domino on top of that is just like bloop it goes just down these are really nice dominoes like the black and gold and like the red and gold dots that makes a really cool domino wait but these dominoes are totally balanced like rotated but these dominoes are balanced like this for that amount of dominoes like a domino a domino a flat domino and then another domino on top of that like that's super super risky yeah i would i would really like be scared that that would fall over by accident <laughs> Whoa, those are big dominoes. Oh my god, he went through the domino line. So this guy, he literally runs through the domino line at the last second there. You see this? That was super risky. He could have just like gotten completely crushed by that domino. I love the texture of these dominoes though. Like, look at this. You zoom in here, the wood color and the grain of it and the wooden dots, like that is a really nice domino. I really like that. Guys, hurry also up. the no, lighting of this little domino. Oh, Super well done. Oh my God. Okay, wait, wait. This is an H5 Domino Creations cameo. Do you see that? I literally, I'm in the video. <laughs> Seriously, that is the coolest cameo ever. My own brand of dominoes is in the world's biggest domino run. So cool. Also, if you're looking to buy dominoes, they're on sale right now on Amazon for the holidays. So go check it out. These dominoes are designed by myself and they're made specifically for setting up and knocking down. Definitely check that out if that's something you're interested in. But now let's get back to the video. Come on, hurry, 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 get in place. Get I love the playfulness right of this. Like there's other types of tricks come, there like come. just random like shapes for towers like i love the playfulness of that it makes it very fun so it, like knocks down this domino lever which flings the domino into the next domino nice work, nice <laughs> that's so funny so that was their safety gap it was just that one golden domino but i will say depending on the force of that launcher that probably wasn't even a sufficient safety gap because it could have just hit the second domino and knocked it over just the same way i don't know if the distance of like one domino was really enough to like make that a proper safety gap but um for the video it works really well Come on, guys, run. okay Don't this run, is run, creative run, run. you have dominoes but the holes are cut out i love the sound it's like slowly getting deeper and more industrial like you even see the scratches on the domino here like that's a really cool detail all right and then the bigger dominoes are now getting larger and larger <laughs> This is insane. Oh no, he's got to decide between getting the world record or saving his friend. What would you do in this situation? Would you get the world record or would, would you let your friend just get smashed by a domino? I would hit the button. You can always rebuild it. You can't rebuild a human. Oh no, the suspense. Oh, he hit the button. He hit the button. The domino has exploded. The safety gap has been created. The tower will not fall over. Wow. Oh no. Was that the drone? Are you serious? The drone is still there knocking down the dominoes. Okay. Alright, actually, I don't think this would have toppled if that was real. Because, again, they're taking out a domino from the bottom of the tower, and there's too much weight on top of it. So even if you take out a domino, it's likely that it'll still stay standing. But what I'm confused about is, like, it knocked out that one domino, but then we see dominoes, like, in the back start falling. Like, it seems like that happened all so fast. Like, it should have been, like, a slower 
progression of like first that one column topples and then like the ones next to it fall but it seemed like it all just kind of fell really fast one interesting thing to point out is that this tower uses the hexagonal technique where you make triangles with the base of the domino so it's like one two three and then the next row is one two three so there's technically six sides of each column which is why they call it the hexagonal technique and this is a really really stable type of structure that allows you to build towers incredibly tall that was probably a smart move for them using this technique with these dominoes because the wind could knock it down and having the hexagonal base makes it a little a bit more structurally sound than having just a normal domino wall but <laughs> that was a big implosion um i almost feel like there would have been more explosion in the dominoes as they fall and hit the ground like more dominoes that would be like sliding or more that would be like rotating over after they impact the ground and then come off of it like it almost felt like the domino like crash was a little too clean but overall it like it looks pretty good like especially the lighting and the gold dominoes and how that reflects everything like that was super cool also that was not three million dominoes yeah that was not nearly 3 million dominoes. If only we could set up 3 million dominoes out in our city, like that would be, that'd be great. So overall, this video was done pretty well. Like that is definitely animated. Like I guess I can say that once and for all, like this is animated. I wish it were real. Actually, no, I don't wish it were real because that would be really dangerous. Oh yeah, I should probably mention, I did consult with Corridor uh, prior to them making this video. And I talked to them about safety gaps and how dominoes fall and just like different tricks that could be made with dominoes, like what kind of structure they should make for the tower but they did a fantastic job with creating the dominoes so overall is the world's biggest domino run realistic or impossible well it is very much impossible but i think they did a great job with the animation as someone who's been doing dominoes in real life i am very impressed with how well they pulled it off there are a couple of small things that don't quite make sense like how some of the towers are built or even the way that the dominoes crumble after they fall in a big structure but overall it seems really good my biggest critique with this whole video is the fact that it's built outside like you can't build dominoes outside that first and foremost is like the biggest giveaway right away in the start that this is not real the larger dominoes those probably could be placed just because they have a thicker base and are more likely to stay up than a normal size domino but overall major props to corridor they did a fantastic and super entertaining and funny animation for this domino video and even though it maybe wasn't the world's biggest domino run they did save their best friend and that is that is a great, great thing. Also, I have brand new merch right now. It is available at hevish5.com slash store. We've got limited edition rainbow spiral posters as well as my Lily Topples the World movie poster. If you don't know, there's a documentary about me and my life as a domino artist. It's super cool that we have a poster for it. And now limited run. These are only available until December 21st. So definitely check it out. Also, I want to give a shout out to our featured community member, NTQA, who left a comment on a previous video Thank you so much for being part of this community. As always, I'm Lily Hevish, and keep on building.